boost. With uh, Uncle Mago? <laughs> with Uncle Mago. Dude, the way you see Uncle Mago play with Sako's daughter, you know, and how much, like, she loves him and stuff like that, like... I want Mago to be my uncle. I would, you know? I would, be, I would actually be honored because, look, if I have to go to work, I know for sure my kid's still learning Street Fighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. No, I just I don't want Mago to be the uncle for my kid. I just want him to be my uncle. Like, I want him to, like, I don't think that's how it works, James. Yeah, it's, not, it's definitely not, but, you know, it's, it's okay. It's okay. But, you know, I'm pretty sure Sako's going to stick with Monat for now. Obviously, a character who's been... So, the 2-bar, 3-bar V-trigger is a big deal. However, for Monat, it's 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 not as bad just because she gets a lot of crush counters with the standing heavy punch. So she, right. can, she builds a lot of V-gauge, you know, inherently. But it is a lot harder now. She doesn't get that super for free just all of a sudden out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, I'm sorry, not super, but V-Trigger for free out of nowhere. Yeah, and then and gets a second one, potentially. Now she's more limited to one a game, but there's no player out there that's going to maximize it as well as Sako. Sako that's right, yeah. Um, you know, they've toned down a lot of Minot's kit, uh, her normals, her <laughs> her V or V gauge building, right? A lot of the crush counters have been toned down. Heavy punch is a little bit slower on width. Yeah, and it doesn't build as much. And, that, and again, as you mentioned, three bar V trigger is going to be a huge detriment uh, coming into this matchup. Uh, but, one thing I did notice was, uh, in general, sweeps all across the board did increase uh, crush <laughs> yeah. counters. Mm -hmm. So that's like they're they're trying to encourage it more in uh, maybe like the footsies, but. But he's going up against, of course, Dank and Diaz, so who we saw going with uh, Dalsum, who kind of hovered over G and Blanca. Yeah. But he is going to go right. with G now. And, you know, I don't, I, I like this choice because. So smart, yeah, because he gets to use the V skill. Anytime Sako decides to throw out the orb, he gets to nullify it. Right. And another and reason is that Japan does not think highly of G at all. And G really caused them problems that final round. So I'm thinking maybe Dank and Diaz is going to try to. Hope maybe Sako doesn't quite have the G experience. I think See, that's exactly yeah, it. Yeah, uh, he gets to go into P level after the V skill cancel, uh, nullifying the presence of the orb. And look at that, he goes right in there. He does the axe kick bitch. to go into uh, that space. And then, oh god, damage time. Guess what? You're gonna eat all this damage, and now Commander? you're in the middle of a mix up here. What's gonna happen? Oh yeah, you're still under my pressure. Activates here. We yes, go. sir. Oh, you can't do it for not, free. You cannot get in there. I've got a V skill that covers my whole entire body. And again, like I said, I, I really feel like Japan is underrating this character. Uh, you know, I'm not sure what the logic is. It might be just because G has awful defense or just that there are no, no very way. strong Japanese G players in, like, the online. You know, there's no, sure, like, sure. Uh, master rank Gs, I think. That's what it usually is. If they don't have enough players for it, they don't really have, like, a solid understanding of it. That's, right. just, that's just the nature of the beast, really. Command grab, okay. He can't set that up again right after, but... Yeah, Dank Diaz is all over. Like I said, he, got, he gets to throw once more. Gets that P level up. Does have critical art on deck. And that and fireball is so fast, man. And it's level two. Yeah. Or and P level one, too. Okay, Sakura gets to jump in, but you know what? Manat's not known for getting jump damage like that. Uh oh. Tr trigger versus trigger. Oh, the air trigger. And then the projectile so invincibility. Slick. He could have done it. He could have yeah, done it with the dash punch and the like super. Three. Or the critical art, excuse me. Yeah, he but, just missed it. I think the jump obviously was a mistake. Oh, oh he's still gonna land on it. He's actually in chip territory, and that's the one, James. Light him up. There you go. <laughs> nice work. Nice work, young fella. Oh, man. And again, like I said, and again, this is not me trying to be critical of Japan. This is just me matter-of-factly stating that Japan does not sure. think very highly of G. You know, I'm not being like, these guys, I don't know what they're You're not finger-wagging, yeah. yeah. No, no, I'm just saying that just matter-of-factly. And so I just wonder if that does mean that they're not as familiar with his toolkit. Yeah, just being it's able so to just, smart, yeah. right? That's you. You take away a majority of uh, the presence from Minot, just eliminating that orb, right? See, look, now he gets to advance closer. He does get the confirms off of that, but again, if you nullify it, it's back to neutral state. It's very difficult. Yep. Yeah, the power. One Earth. 
Cancel? Okay, well, a little bit too too far too out. Too far away, yeah. And Venkati is playing it safe, but that's fine. Oh, the robbery. It that's just what I'm takes talking one about. hit into V trigger, and guess what? The high low mix up right afterwards. One more mix up away. He could potentially stun here if he gets a command grab. Oh, plays it safe, yeah. Oh, okay, so beautiful smart. from Sako. Knew that he could challenge there. Goes for the reset, but hits him out of the air. Still gonna be able to confirm. And you know what? She's got the critical art on deck. Probably gonna take it. Whipping the jab for the timing as well. I love it. And Sako's gonna take that round. Trademark Sako Noko, I like that. And you Very know, much so. Uh, Go our, on. our good friend, Mr. David Graham, or Mr. Ultra David, thinks that G's uh, V Trigger 1 might be the best V Trigger in the game. And it's hard to, to argue that, to be honest with you, because that thing is so good. It combos off of every cancel. You know, any cancel leads into dash punch, and then G is just so buff when he has that V Trigger yeah. activated. He gives, also gives him the best V skill in the game. You know, yeah. Uh, turning into a projectile. Using and he gets an airborne. Like five of them too. Yeah, it lasts forever. Normally, when you have Here one of those V triggers activated and you use those moves that drain the meter, oh. it drains like two or you could get like two or three of them, but he gets five of them. Oh, didn't get to take advantage oh, of that throw. Yeah. But Sakunoko, he's he's hanging out. He's trying to play defense as much nice as possible. Nice counter pokes. And the good thing about that is, yeah, he keeps them in check. No, no V trigger left. From Dankadias ah, and Sako yeah. is looking to take this round away. Oh, wait a minute. Oh boy. Sit oh, him down with that roundhouse. Wait a minute. The command, command grab. One. Charge up. Oh, just went for the buttons. I he should have went for the command grab again. Trying to go through orbs with that projectile invincibility again. And now zoning. Oh yep, goes through there. And it's safe. At the right distances. Go oh, good defense from Ooh, he gets the counter poke! And he still and he survives that round. He takes that round, absolutely stealing that one from Sako. He's at match point. How here. brave of him to throw in that crouch jab. Confirm the counter. It went right into it. And look at this young man go. Sakonoko, he's still unfazed. You can see it in his face. He's still remember, gonna play this neutral game. I remember we talked about him getting uh, second place in that last chance qualifier. Who did he lose to? ZJZ. Who was ZJZ using? Minot. So you know that Danka Diaz has studied that matchup because he is he was gonna be thinking about that matchup forever. Blocking, yeah. And he has learned G to fight this character, it looks like. I'm telling you, student of the game, he understands the mechanics very well. And you can see it right here. Yeah, Fruits of flavor right here. Very willing to play this very safe game right now. He has a slight life deficit, but he knows that no life deficit for G is actually a life deficit because your health can melt so quickly. This is so pesky. So pesky from Danka Diaz. I've never seen Sako quartered this badly before. Yeah, Sako just can't get anything started, can't really pressure because of that V skill, like you said, it's such a difference. And even all this wearing down and small hits have oh, given Danka Diaz the life lead. Oh boy, caught you by surprise. And he's got one more bar, so he's got some more, he's the potential for a kill. That was a command oh, grab he tried. He tried. And now, if Sako can get this and confirm into the... Oh, he's going for, he the, went reset. for the reset. Yeah. And I appreciate that. Sako Noko can still do this. One confirm that's yeah, it. there it is. And he's going to get the critical art at Sako Noko. Showing that that V trigger for Manai, despite the fact that it is three bars, is still her greatest weapon and one of the scariest things to defend against. And it's so it was so Not difficult for weird. Sako to even get there. So listen, right? He couldn't get any of his fierces going to kind of like uh, get a crush counter or whatnot. That's something you see often with Manat being able to space the fierce right. as well, get crush counters. If you look and paid attention to that specific round, Sako had less than 20% and finally got her V trigger. V trigger, yeah, yeah. That's such a scary place to be at, right? To have uh, that comeback tracker come in so late uh, compared to what it was prior. It's, it's former glory, right? When it had two bars only. I mean, if Danka Diaz is considering switching characters, I will run up to the stage and be like, don't. Because <laughs> I feel like he no, did no, such no, a no, good no. job with G in this matchup. That last one right there, he was right there. He went for the command grab. And had he landed it, he would have won. But Sako was aware and actually hit the button, so it didn't work yeah. out. Yeah. So great awareness. I feel like Danka Diaz was you know, in a great position to take that one. So I don't think the character was the problem at all. Eye for an eye, right? I mean, Danka Diaz did the same thing. He saw a chance to interrupt with Crouch Jab. Right. Took that round away from Sakonoko. Right. Paid him back the favor. That's right. Yeah. 
the, 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 the crouch light punch checks, taking it for both players. Those, man. <laughs> Just being able to finesse the other player, uh, catching those gaps and then oh, yeah. maximizing it to its utmost potential. It's 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 so it's so fun. It's and so I know fun a lot see. of people, you know, who, who, who you know who play the game and get hit by wake up jabs are frustrated by that. But you know, a lot of that really isn't about wake up jabs. That's about the back roll versus quick rise. You know, sure, if, yeah. if you have read the wrong one and you end up getting hit because you missed your meaty, you just Ooh. have to blame yourself. And I like the idea from Sako. He wasn't going to go for like uh, a punish for damage. He wanted to get the knockdown to eliminate that P level mm. up. Uh, That's right. From G. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good call. Ooh, he tried to go for the surprise. Here we go. Might. Combos off of any hit cancel. And you guess kick. what? You are just in this mix up again. All oh, the sweet. Yeah. right there. Okay. So Sako Noko now at match point over Danka Diaz. What is this about the lack of G knowledge? He's doing just fine with that. No, he's, he's, he's definitely studied this match. And you can tell, you, you understand what he wants to do with G. He wants to make sure that he doesn't get these power-ups, these level-ups, right? They're so essential to G's gameplay. And it's one of the reasons why a player like Sako, you know, spends so much time playing online, is you do get the character diversity knowledge, you know, when you're playing online so much. Nice. A whole different story now. A lot more forward movement from Sako. The fr uh, first time in a long while, Dengue is actually cornered. And, you know, Sako Noko is trying to look at... Uh, looking to take this game away. Yeah, a little bit of frustration right now from Denka Diaz. All the things that were working before, he's trying again, just like those EX dash punches, lows. But Sako was ready for it. No anti-air. No anti second time around, Sako got a free jump, and that's it. That's all she wrote. He's gonna get the critical arc. And yes, James, that is gonna kill. Clip that, man. No, you, you had to call out, <laughs> man. You had to call out. <laughs> no, I mean, but, it could have uh, been you if I didn't say, and James, this is not. I could have just pretended that's that true. Is this the yeah. kill? <laughs> that's what you gotta practice now. So. I'm, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Oh, hey, uh, you know, Dangadius, great effort regardless. Uh, you know, still showcasing that he is capable of multi oh, characters. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, but again, Sakunoko showing why he's still one of the gods.